The animals, specifically the deer, are a goofy aspect to all of this. So like, why? What, what, what's the deal? What do they symbolize? According to Clay, he claims in Mesoamerican culture they believe the deer to be a good omen. However, it is, it is almost the complete opposite here. Now, the reason all of these deer and flamingo show up is basically whatever environmental disasters are happening in the south, the animals can sense, so their migration patterns have completely changed, as mentioned on the radio station. Led to a catastrophic environmental disaster in the south, impacting animal migration patterns. However, the deer represent the humans here, specifically the family. Have you ever heard of a deer in headlights? They freeze, are confused, haven't a clue what to do, much like the family panicking without technology to guide them, help them in the looming apocalypse. There's the claim the deer can sense that the humans are falling down the metaphorical food chain. We no longer have power and the tools that make us superior, so the deer are stepping up because they know they know damn well what we did to Bambi's mother. Hashtag never forget. However, the more logical reasoning behind the deer ties in with the man in the flood story Rose tells. These deer are a sign sent from a higher power to get packed up and get to safety. But much like the man in the story, they ignore and ignore and ignore until it's too late. This is why the deer surround Amanda and Ruth at the end, fearfully showing them to get their heads out of their asses, or I guess the grass, stop looking down and instead look upward and outward, which causes the pair to see the complete disaster in New York City. Rose is the only one to take the flood in the man story seriously, along with the deer, you know, warnings, and she is the one who made it to the bunker safely. Be aware of your surroundings and don't follow the herd into danger. Anyway, that is way too much on a movie that's about Tesla's malfunctioning and the US reverting back to the wild, wild west. So what did you think? What did you like? What any sort of theories or meaning or th small things that you picked up that we maybe missed in this obnoxiously long breakdown of the movie? Drop everything in the comments below and please subscribe. It really helps out the channel and motivates me to make more videos like this. And if you haven't, check out all of my other social media accounts, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and new Retro Rewind trailer in the description. So enjoy your day, week, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone.